Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And um, I just want to uh, respond to this. Um, this uh, uh, event that happened uh, today um, in BBC News, so let me get straight into it. It says, gay man wins Supreme Court case on equal pensions, right? So, um, basically what happened, this gay man, which in actual fact, the correct term is this um, sodomite, all right? Uh, he's a so-called homosexual. Now, the reason why their term as being gay, the word gay originally meant to be carefree. And um, in the dark ages, it was deemed that, you know, a man that was a homosexual was carefree. <laughs> okay, meaning lacking the fear of the Lord. Okay, as, you know, as to the judgment that would come from his activities. So this uh, sodomite... Um, uh, he wins a Supreme Court case. So the Supreme Court of the land in the UK ruled in favor of a sodomite, which should already show you um, the, how wicked um, this society is, man, that a judge would rule in favor of a straight-up um, sodomite. It says, A gay man has won a landmark ruling which will give his husband the same pension rights as a wife would receive all right to support the supreme court unanimously ruled that if john walker 66 dies his husband is entitled to a spouse's pension provided they remain married now first and foremost let's deal with a few things okay firstly a man cannot have a husband, okay? You cannot have two husbands in a house, all right? Let's prove that, all right? Now, the word husband, Old English husbanda, male head of a household. So you cannot have more than one male head in a household. And a household is a family, okay? Master of a house householder probably from old norse husbandi master of the house so here it is they'll they'll have two husbands and claim they're joined together no literally house dweller from house bondi householder dweller freeholder peasant from bondi present blah 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 jump down it says married man in relation to his wife because Marriage is a joining. Now, a man and a man cannot be joined together. A man and a woman are joined together because when a man and a woman have sex, all right, the woman actually biologically adapts to that man. That's why the scripture says what, what a man shall um, leave his mother and his father and a woman shall leave her mother and father and they shall what be joined together they shall become as one flesh so it is impossible for two men to be joined together in marriage and it's also impossible to have two husbands in a household and become the companion word of wife um when you jump down there you got a husbandman the head of a family early 14th century as farmer tiller of this of the soil all right, because a husband not only is he the head of the family, but also he tills the soil, which the soil represents the woman. Okay, when a man and a woman come together and, and form a marriage, a union, a household, the product of that household is ultimately children. And a, a husband, a two men cannot produce just as two women cannot produce it takes a man and a woman to join together 
to produce. All right. Let's um, get that in um, Genesis. So Esau, he's um, he's he's going off and he's he's a uh, um, increase in vanity, because this is this is all just vain. All right. What they what they did was first they watered down the meaning of a husband and the meaning of a wife, and the roles. The husband is the head. The woman. Is the servant of the husband and they are joined together to be productive in a family all right Esau watered that down and he turned a husband and a wife into just some form of civil partnership and then that opened the door for you to now have a husband and a husband and a wife and a wife and all other manner of perversions now, Genesis 2 and, and, and 24 Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother And shall cleave unto his wife And they shall be one flesh And they were both naked The man and his wife And were not ashamed Alright and let me get this uh, scripture here Alright Sirach 36 and 24 He that getteth a wife Beginneth a possession Because the husband possesses the wife She belongs to him and they are joined a help like unto himself and a pillar of rest meaning that woman is supposed to take on the vibration of her husband and be like-minded and to be a help and to be a pillar of rest unto him that's how it's supposed to be but Esau has destroyed the proper roles of the husband of the wife of the mother of the father and has brought in nothing more than vanity and perversion all right and that's why you got this curious case where you have two husbands that that's a that's, that's insanity there's a saying on the islands you can't have two bulls in one pen. <laughs> it's insanity. That's not a household. That's not a family. Two men. How can they produce? That is the, the very definition of inefficiency and unproductivity. All right. That's why this, this place has to go and Esau can't be allowed to establish his new world order because ultimately Esau is trying to destroy the very fabric of creation, the fundamentals of life on earth and replace it with nothing but perversion and vanity which leads on to what? Death. That's why he cannot be allowed to achieve his new world order, man. The serpent cannot be allowed to achieve his new world order because it would mean the end of life <laughs> okay Genesis uh, 11 and 6 and, and the Lord said behold the people is one and they have all one language and this they begin to do and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do and the, their imaginations are vain and if he was to establish a new world order there is no end to, to the perversion, to the vanity this man would introduce on the face of this planet Earth, man. I dare to say he would do away with gender completely, which is what he's trying to do. But the Lord, male and female, created he them. He's trying to do away with the, 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 the book of Genesis, man, that which was from the beginning. You know? So this man has to be stopped, and he will be stopped. And this this madness and this vanity is going to be brought to an end. All right. <sighs> Crazy. Shalom.